Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Monday, market outlook time. Let's talk about what we could see on the market today and through this week of Ultimate Team of the Season, right? This is the last week of Team of the Season in FIFA Ultimate Team. All of the best TOTS cards have been re-released. You guys know this is the squad right here. This is the team that we have in packs at the moment. A lot of their prices are dropping because they just get more and more and more supply. What's going to happen with these prices this week? Are we going to have a guaranteed SBC? Are we going to have upgrades today? I want to talk about all of that uh, in today's video. But first, what I want to look at is these card prices dropping. And if you want to buy anybody who's in Ultimate Tots, I want to talk about that first of all today and tonight or this morning whenever you're watching this video. So you can see a lot of prices dropped big time today during lightning rounds. This is Sunday's lightning rounds. Kind of a big bounce actually on that, that Mbappe. After going under 3.1 mil, he went back to 3.3. And right now he's 3.14. I think that you might see a little bit of a small drop depending on what content comes out today for upgrades. I would seriously watch these Ultimate Tots card prices um, Monday and Tuesday of this week. Uh, you know, sometimes Sunday nights have been the lowest, but since these cards are the impact TOTS cards, if we get big upgrade SBCs or some sort of upgrades uh, today on Monday, which has been the day they've been dropping a set of upgrades uh, for every week through TOTS, you might see these guys take another little bit of a step down. If people have a chance to pack these guys, like a legit chance, I feel like a lot of people would go after it. So depending on what SBCs they drop today, if there's anybody that you want to hear, Sancho, Kimmich, uh, Henderson even, Carvel Hall, because you, maybe you just got the Modric flashback today in your squad. If you want one of these cards, I think Monday or Tuesday, somewhere in that time frame is going to be your buy time. If there's any sort of panic for upgrades, because people are really, really asking about the upgrade SBCs this week, because a lot of people still want a chance at packing Mbappe, the Neymar, uh, the Ben Yedder, the Ronaldo, the Messi, the Lewandowski, all of these guys in Ultimate Tots. People want to hit upgrades this week. They want to know how to invest for them. Can you invest for them? Um, the upgrades that come today, I see kind of like two scenarios of what happens, right? Uh, and I talked about this a little bit in my video yesterday, but I see a scenario with um, EA dropping some upgrades like an 81 plus or an 82 plus double guaranteed, something like that. And then maybe that like 82 to 88 uh, upgrade SBC, something like that. Or what they could do, and I, I kind of hope they do this because this could get interesting and it would probably crash the market a bit more, but it would give people a increased chance of packing these TOTS, Ultimate TOTS cards. If they release the upgrade packs that were put out every Monday for the past five weeks, right? So if they put out the Prem um, upgrade, the La Liga, the Bundesliga, Ligue 1, and Serie A, if they put out all those upgrades that came out, the exact same ones that came out when each of the leagues were in packs for that week, so like if we got the player pick with five league on rare players again, um, you know, if that SPC came out again, if the four rare Premier League player pack SPC came out again, that could get kind of interesting. And it looks like some people have already started to buy up some of these rares for like six, seven, eight hundred coins. It looks like some of these are all up. Uh, some of these rare cards are up. Even some of the really cheap ones that I usually try to buy, like Fellaini is a non main league rare card. He actually might be pretty cheap. Yeah, he's actually 700 coins. But for the main five league, the rare cards in the main five leagues, you're starting to see these guys rise a little bit already um, because people are looking at doing these SBCs. So you're starting to see uh, their prices rise a little bit as I think of some rares to look at in a price range. Milelovic, 750. Yeah, so these guys are getting bought up. People are starting to buy Prem rares, Liga on rares, Bundesliga, like the main five leagues. This is my advice for you. If you're watching this video before the packs, upgrade packs come out before 6 p.m. today on Monday, I would go through and do a club stock. If you're somebody who's planning on doing a lot of upgrades, do a club stock on the rares. Um, just go through Footbin. You can honestly search um, by like players. Just go FIFA 20 players over here on Footbin. Um, search by version with a gold rare. And then search by league. The league, let's go top five. Let's go, let's go Premier League. What are the cheapest Premier League gold rare cards? Then we sort by price. So you can click on PlayStation or Xbox. It'll sort by price. Click it twice and you can see these are the cheapest rares. Just go through a list like this and buy one. Throw it in the club if, you're, if you've got the time to do that. Maybe just buy a few from each league. Stock up the club a little bit and you're ready 
for whatever SBCs would come out on foot um, today on Monday because they're probably going to be the better set of upgrades than what would come on Thursday. So hopefully they drop some good upgrades today. I know a lot of people be interested in that. I'm not really going to club stock, to be honest with you. Um, my motivation for upgrades this week isn't absolutely the highest, um, but I will be, I'll do be, I will, I'll do some upgrades, I guess. You know, I got the Mbappe, the Benyetter, the, the Neymar. I had the incredible pack luck last week, but why not try for a VVD? Why not try for a Messi, for Ronaldo? We have the coins to do it. It's the end of the year. We're going to have some fun. So you can expect me to open some of those packs at some point too, you know, regardless of what they are. If it's an 82 plus or if it's a league upgrade kind of like they put out before you're gonna see me open some packs just because i'm gonna try to hit some of those packs up uh because they're they're just fun right they're just fun they're upgrade packs and we will do what we can to try to pack some more of those tots that we haven't been able to get yet so if you want to invest in some of those golds you can do a little bit of a club stock maybe throw a few of them on your transfer list but i wouldn't i wouldn't do a ton of it honestly uh, I, I wouldn't do a ton just because uh, we don't know what's coming. All right, we just don't know what is coming. What else is coming this week? I can confirm to you, and I think a lot of people are forgetting about this, that Team of the Week cards, Team of the Week moments cards in particular, are coming back this Wednesday. And everybody's so excited about it. Just kidding. We're not really excited about that. But the only thing that, that does mean is there's going to be supply for informs on the market. So I know a lot of these SBCs they've been putting out have required just uh, TOTS cards, have been requiring TOTS Team of the Week moments or Team of the Week cards or TOTS and just TOTS. But what I would do is if you have informs that are tradable in your club, take a little bit of, of a look through and maybe check some of those prices. Maybe you've forgotten about some of those informs because you've been turning in Team of the Seasons into SBCs. Some of those informs are still pretty inflated on the market and you want to get those out before Wednesday at... Uh, 6 p.m. UK when a new Team of the Week Moments squad will be released into foot. And probably in the next two or three weeks, I would expect to see actual Team of the Week's return because the top five leagues are going to start having games going again. Uh, the Bundesliga has been going for a few weeks. The Prem starts very soon. La Liga and Serie A both start very soon as well. So I would expect normal Team of the Weeks to return very soon as well. And some people have been asking me, kind of since we're along this sort of thing right now, talking about cards and what's going to be coming out, right? Um, some people have been asking me, what's going to happen for the next couple weeks of Foot Champions? Well, in the next two weeks of Foot Champions, it still shows here in the menus that Team of the Season players are going to be available in rewards. They did this last year as well. They kept Tots and rewards for a couple weeks, I think. I don't know if it was through the rest of the year, but just a couple weeks. So, you know, not you know, not all weekend league reward hope is lost. I guess you could say, you still will be able to get tots cards from rewards, um, and I think it's just kind of a random pick from all the leagues that just throw all the tots cards into rewards. I believe I could be wrong on that. Maybe we'll get a bit of a statement from EA this week, possibly on some of that stuff. But tots cards are in rewards for the next two weeks still, according to Foot Champions in the game. So yes. You should be able to get tots reds and tots in your elite packs uh, for the next two weeks if you're going to be continuing to play weekend league on this game today. Also, uh, I didn't show you the loading screen when I went in, but today is also rest of the world tots. A lot of people think that it's going to be like Ryan Kent is going to get a a tots card today um, because of him being in the um, what is he in the the Scottish league? Is that what Ryan Ryan Kent plays in the, in the Scottish league? S, the SPFL. But this is rest of the world tots that is going to be coming today. A lot of people have been talking about Ryan Kent. A lot of cards that could be getting here too. Yes, Scottish Premiership, right? Scottish Premiership is the league he plays in. But personally, I kind of think that this Kent card is more of like he's more in line for a footies card than what. Um, than a tots card i really think this guy would get a footies instead of i don't know if he's had a really great year uh for rangers but i you never know i guess we never know that could come today and some of the rest of the world tot squads like let's take a peek from fifa 19 really fast at the row uh team of the season because i want to show you guys what cards were out last year during rest of the world tots now last year they included um mls and the chinese league in team of the season because as you can see we had Zahavi in Tots last year, and we had Renato Augusto. I think I saw him in here. 
Was he not in his tots? Rest of the world tots. No, he wasn't. It was there was MLS cards that were included in here though. So, you know, we had Skov last year. Um, we had the Portuguese. Uh, what is league? What is league? Is this Hellas Liga? The Hellas Liga is that the Greek league? I'm not even sure what league that is to be honest with you. Uh, we had Vanekin from the um, the Dutch league. We had this guy from what league is this? Ukrainian Liga. Yeah, see, I don't know a lot of these leagues. These are a lot of card and league that I don't know right off the bat. But, um, you know, rest of the world tots last year was just, eh, it was just all right. A lot of people liked Skov. He was really cool. Vela had a stacked card. Tisanganov had a stacked card. Tavernier had a nice card. But rest of the world tots today, I'm not sure what kind of cards are going to come out with. But uh, they're probably going to juice them because the past two weeks for the team of the seasons that they've put out, MLS, Latin America, and then Eredivisie and CSL. They've absolutely juiced the card. So it'll be interesting to see who gets into ROW team of the season that comes out today. And of course, since we're having two sets of TOTS cards in packs again, we're probably going to have two guaranteed TOTS SBCs on Wednesday as we keep moving through the week timeline. Uh, Wednesday is going to be a big day for the ultimate TOTS guaranteed. Some of the 88s and 87s went up a little bit in the past couple of days with the SBCs that have come out. Can you still buy some of these? Yes, but they're a bit inflated. Erickson's 25,000 coins, as you can see, on Saturday. He was like 20K for almost the whole day. SBCs came out, he kind of rose, and then he rose a little bit more even today with the, the Modric SBC that came out. There's a lot of people that did Modric today. A lot of people that did Modric because center mids, midfielders across the entire market are down a lot. And I'll talk about that a little bit in this video too, um, just to kind of cover that. But... Uh, SBC fodder, can you invest in some of this? Yes, you can still. 84s look decently low to me. Good, like the guys with good links, good nationalities. There's going to be more hype for these guys later this week. 85s are up a bit. 86s are still okay at like 13k if you can. Almost dropped my controller. 87s are still okay too, but they're up in, in price a little bit already too. So, um, if you want to buy a few of these guys, you can. They're just, just know that you might not be buying at the absolute cheapest price. They're a bit inflated. So maybe you just buy a couple as a club stock. Um, the only thing that's going to make these cards really boom back to where they were in previous portions of the year, like this Griezmann, uh, you know, these guys were, you know, 40, 50 K for a while during foot birthday because of the SBCs that were out. But uh, you've seen them kind of go back down now to the 20 Ks with not a lot of SBCs that require high rated squads. And of course, all of these new TOTS cards that come onto the game, it's just giving people, you know, 90 to 94, 95 rated cards from objectives and packing those cards in their club. So they're needing a lot more of like the 83 to 86 range to complete the high rated SBC. So unless we get a prime icon upgrade, which potentially could happen, they put the mid icon upgrade out on a Friday um, in between when we thought we were going to get either tots or like it was after foot birthday, right? It was after foot birthday. I think we had foot birthday one week and then... Um, then tots right is that correct am i thinking correctly i think so it was it was close somewhere in that time frame but they could drop a prime icon upgrade sbc on this friday that could be something that ea would go and do and that would crash the market for sure is that possible it is possible but i don't expect it i guess that's what i'll say i don't expect that to happen but it could i don't think you need to really prepare for it I don't think you need to do anything about it, but maybe just stock some of the high rateds if you haven't already, because the guaranteed ultimate tots SBC this week is probably going to end up being 88 or 89 rated. And I would also assume that it's going to require one, if not two team of the season cards. So Erickson's actually not 25 K. It's what Footman said. Erickson's around the 23, 24 K range still. So that's not terrible. 22, two or 22, seven is not bad for an 88 rated card. Um, so maybe you, you club stock some of these if you're trying to make some coins this week. I think I would stick with the 84s though. 84s and 86s are what I think I would stick with. Especially because the 84s are, would be going up a little bit for possibly the rest of the world tots. And you'll might you might be able to get a good glimpse on are 84s going to rise based on what comes out today. If the um, rest of the world tots is for some reason like juiced and stacked. And if there's Ryan Kent in there, then that would add some hype. Although I don't really feel like he's going to get in. You kind of need to take that into consideration uh, as you, uh, you know, think about investing for that SBC. But the Ultimate Tots SBC is going to have some hype. And I do like 86s for that because, you know, if it is an 88 or 89 rated SBC, 
people already have multiple uh, 90 rated cards in their club just from collecting TOTS cards. And some of these 86s are still 13,000 coins. Uh, as you can see, that Muller got bought there. That was a bit of an undercut for sure, like a 1K undercut. So maybe you get on some open bids. If we get any tradable pack supply today on Monday or Tuesday, that could be more of a last minute maybe chance to pick up some of those cards um, for that guaranteed SBC. And then on a Friday, uh, it might just be kind of a dead Friday, to be honest. Later on in the week this week, after Ultimate Toss Rewards, you might see some of the market go up in price a little bit. Um, I still think there's people that are going to play Weekend League can, since TOTS cards are in rewards. That's going to drive people to continue playing. And people still kind of want to play this game with the TOTS cards that they just got, you know, from the past couple weeks of Team of the Season. And if they pack anything sick during Ultimate TOTS, they're going to want to try them out. So I do expect there to be a good Thursday flipping opportunity with out-of-pack special cards, which for those, if you want to buy any out-of-packs cards, uh, whether it's a team of the season, like maybe a Nabry, uh, or, you know, any tots out of packs card that you might be interested in this week for, you know, buying for a Thursday flip. I would, since I would seriously start to look at those cards, um, decently soon. I would look at those cards decently soon, Monday, Tuesday timeframe. Maybe if there's some panic around the, the upgrade SBCs released today, or if so there's some panic around the, um, guaranteed on Wednesday, then I might get interested in some of these out of pack special cards around those time frames, and you can sell them Thursday into Friday for some profit because people are still going to buy TOTS cards because they're very, very cheap. And I, li I like a lot of TOTS cards this week as a Thursday flip. I like a lot of these because I'm seeing them start to move up in price a decent amount. People are using a lot of these cards. And speaking of cards that moved a lot today, because of the SBC that came out, the SBC being Luka Modric, right? This De Young card is a perfect example of a midfielder that got absolutely destroyed in price today. 524 right now on the market. This guy was 690k before Modric came out today. There's a lot more people that are going to be using La Liga backlines. People already use La Liga backlines in this game with Militao, Ter Stegen, and Ramos being so very popular. Uh, so even though Carvajal is in Ultimate Tots. His price has dropped a lot because he has been obviously in packs for a second week. Um, I'm kind of interested in this guy possibly rising on Thursday with rewards because a lot of people need this guy to link their Modric, their Ramos, and maybe their uh, Modric to their center backs, get a nice little triangle going on there. So I still think this Carvajal card, even though he's in packs for a second week, has a possibility to rise. He rose out of packs during, um, during La Liga Tots. I think he could do it again. Just kind of watch some La Liga cards. Even a guy like maybe Cruz or a Diego Carlos, maybe the, the Ramos. Ramos bounced today when the Modric came out because a lot of people did that Modric because it's very good value. I did it myself even. But look what happened with this today. He was 830, 840 before the SBC dropped. The weekend league sell-off starting to kick in. He bounced up to 890 and he's back down to 850. So... I would not see it crazy if this guy's back down to like maybe the lower 800s, maybe 820, 830 at some point this week. Since he's not an ultimate team of the season, I would expect him to rebound really nicely this weekend. So if you want to buy this for your team or even Varane, I would look at those cards before rewards this week for sure because more and more people are going to do that um, Modric card because that was a very good value SBC that came out on Sunday. Uh, so that's just one thing I wanted to point out. But Thursday flipping is definitely going to work this week. We're going to watch that weekend league sell off. We're going to watch and see what kind of panic selling and what other stuff happens SBC wise throughout the week this week. Um, just the fact that they have released three very good value SBCs so far this week interests me. It makes me seem, makes me think that we're going to get maybe another good value SBC on Tuesday or whatever they're going to do for Tuesday. Cause usually that's when they do the upgrades for the league SBCs, but obviously um, unless they put more league SBCs in for rest of the world tots, they've already upgraded these. So I don't know what they're going to do on Tuesday, whether it's, it's no content or whether they drop another player SBC, but Danny Ings is a solid card, the Mertens and the Modric cards that we got today, uh, or at least the first three days of tots ultimate have been really good. So that would maybe mean to me that we're getting some more good value SBCs coming this week. So that's the market outlook for this week, boys. If you enjoyed it, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.